So meaningful education about the pub, of the public, about the justice system, I think really entails uh, at least two fundamentals. Um, one is pretty basic, and that's elementary school education about the justice system. We learn civics and kind of a rudimentary concept of uh, parliaments and stuff like that, but uh, I don't know that there is uniform across Canada in the elementary school system, and I say elementary because it's where, where things really get inculcated into, into people. Uh, the concepts of presumption of innocence, proof beyond a reasonable doubt, uh, trial by judge, trial by jury, uh, onus on the crown, that's in the criminal law context. Some basics about civil law and why trials on evidence in a structured uh, courtroom setting are far preferable to trial by ordeal or boiling or burning witches or wars. And um, it isn't far-fetched nowadays to see a line between the decline in populist support for what they call elites, whether political or economic elites, uh, and the decline in the respect for rule of law. I mean, I think your question is a good one because it goes to the heart of respect for rule of law. If you understand and uh, are educated about the justice system, there's a better chance you believe in its value. And don't think uh, lawyers are elites or judges are elites or the system is rigged against you um, and that, that uh, you'd better topple the system uh, and, and have disrespect for it. So I think fundamental school education is a start. I think education of journalists is another meaningful way to get the information out and it's obviously not merely print journalists because print doesn't enjoy the the dominant position that it used to have. Uh, there are other media and all media um, that that are for example like television controlled or, or, or subject to broadcast regulation. They, we can educate professional journalists. The query about how to control the internet or bloggers or Facebook is a whole other issue and I think people writing about the internet notice that um, the lack of information about an issue does not diminish the passion with which opinions are held. The internet is off, often an angry forum where people express their views and I don't think it's it, it, it's not necessarily a place for reasoned debate. There are people who argue with reason, but the dominant theme uh, out there is, is anger and negativity. Um, I think that goes back to basic education of people, because it's people that blog. And, and if you get back to basic understanding, the basic principles of why in Western civilization we believe the rule of law serves all of us. It serves the structure of society, the protection of citizens, uh, so that we aren't in a state of nature. And um, I, the two immediate ways that come to mind are educating the public early as a fundamental of the school system, and the second one is educating journalists who can get the message out to the public.